Okay, guys, so what are your preparation for this visit? My expectation? Yeah. Uh, my expectation is to go into pre-season and get fit, get our combinations right, get our relationships with the players right. Um, there are new players coming in, there are old faces here, so we need a lot of work to get what the coach wants into, into implementing that on the field. So your preparation for uh, your team for Selangor? Um, you know, preparation, it's my second day back at the moment, so um, you know, it's uh, hard work already. The first day was, was extremely hard and um, you know, I'm expecting it to get harder as the pre-season goes on. Um, it's never an easy time for a player pre-season, but it's the time that we can prepare and, and get ready for what will be, I'm sure, a tough season. What did you learn uh, from the national squad? So you bring back uh, the lesson that you bring back uh, to Slango maybe? Um, I, think you, I think we're always learning, right? Um, we can always say that, uh, you know, an underdog team can always do something um, special. And uh, I also learned that, um, you know, there needs to be big personalities with big leaders within a team as well. And um, that's a driving force for us moving forward this season is that, you know, we have a lot of players um, that, are moving, that are coming into the team with big personalities and can add a lot to the team. And um, we're looking to utilise every part of their quality. So this is the third season of you with Dango. How do you feel about uh, the environment of the club right now? Um, the environment's always always been really good, you know. The, you can look around here, the training centre, and you see that there's more developments going on and trying to pr improve every day as a club. Um, so, other than thinking about what has happened with the facilities, you know, we think about the the players' perspective, and we need to improve as well. Um, you know, you can't rest on your laurels. Um, we made to Malaysia Cup final last year, but. Uh, you could say the season was turbulent um, as a whole. So we need to um, iron out those creases and those inconsistencies, um, make our season a little bit more consistent um, throughout the, the course of the, the time, the year, and um, you know, hopefully we can uh, get a bit more success. So how do you describe uh, the arrival of Faisal Haley and Robin Thierry and Noor are up there to the training, to the training session? Yeah, they're brilliant players. Um, you know, you saw their qualities in the national team. You saw their qualities at their cl um, respective clubs last year. And um, it's, it's brilliant to have those players in our team. But again, there's not one person that makes a team. It's, it's, I've always said, um, you know, we need 23, 24, 25 players to make a, a squad. Um, so, as I said, we will use their qualities as best we can. And um, we will focus on winning as a team, not as an individual. Okay, Brandon, before this in the national squad, uh, Kim Pangon has uh, given you the task uh, playing at the back. So, what do you think? If in Selangor also, uh, do, you, do you take that as a challenge if Tan Cheng Ho put you playing at the back? Um, my answer stays the same. I will play wherever I need to play. Um, whether it's goalkeeper, whether it's centre-back, whether it's midfield, whether it's striker, whether it's winger. I will play wherever I need to play to help the team. Um, as I said again, it's not an individual sport, it's a team sport. We all need to help each other in this uh, to, to gain success this season. So hopefully we can all do our roles um, as individual players, which will then result in team success. With Selangor this season being a favourite, do you feel, uh, I mean, this is a good thing or do you feel pressure about it? The fa is this coming from you calling us the favourite? <laughs> um, I haven't heard us being the favourite yet. Um, every team that you can see now has uh, improved their squads. Uh, it looks like a very tough season this year. Um, and, uh, you know, we're looking to just build on our pre-season, get our combinations right, our tactics right, and um, get our fitness to the, the point where we can go into the season, um, not at our peak, but uh, close enough to our peak. How can you describe the arrival of Raymond Marquette as a assistant, assistant coach? Yeah, so I've only worked with him for one day, as it is, and, and you can see the qualities already. Um, he's very passionate about football. Um, he's, he's wanting players to learn, which is the best part about um, getting a, a new coach to come in and, and help us out because he's going to individually work on players in, in making them better and also as a team making us better as a whole. So um, it's only a great addition for us and I'm sure the more I work with him, the more we will learn from each other and, and the more we will grow.
Um, you know, it's always nice to be in a financially stable team. Um, it's, it's sad for those players that are in that situation because they have families, they have bills to pay, just like any one of us here. So um, it just so happens that we are involved in, in football where, you know, some things happen and, and um, you know, which put them in a situation where they cannot pay those bills and, and, and support their families. And, you know, it's, it's very sad. And, and hopefully the um, PFA can, can help out and um, able to recoup the losses that those players are going through at the moment. But, um, yeah, for us, uh, you know, it's always been good to have a, a management that makes sure that their expenditures um, are, are worthy and um, making sure that all the players are looked after. And uh, that's, that's the one positive thing about being a part of this great club. How is your uh, celebration for this uh, festive Chinese New Year season? Um, yeah, um, well, actually, my, um, my parents are here at the moment. So, um, yeah, we'll just have a probably a quiet, small um, little celebration. But again, pre-season, you know, we've got a lot of training coming up. So um, not a lot of days off. Uh, so um, we'll be training tomorrow and hopefully uh, Coach Tan will give us Chinese New Year off. <laughs>